today's leadership development program on universal human values the dignity is on dais professor vedraj ji honorable vice chancellor of anna university professor rajni saroda ji former vice chancellor of punjab technical university and the chairman of national committee on student induction program aicte the registrar of the university uh, dr prakash uh, my colleague sri rajul astana ji vice chairman of national committee on universal human values our friend uh, kumar sambhav ji uh, director of design at up technical university and the resource person of this program the dean of uh, this uh, college madam sugandhi my colleagues of usv team and all the faculty members of anna university various vice chancellor registrar from adjoining university on behalf of aict and uh, universal human value team i welcome you all though the content shall be delivered uh, by professor rajni saroda ji i shall not discuss anything about the content of course uh, whatever experience i had as a vice chancellor and as a person i'll just in few minutes of course i'll uh, narrate otherwise during the day i shall be with you we'll be discussing this as far this course is concerned this uh, discuss the whole expanse of life right from himself herself to the family then extent of family so neighbor workplace and from human to human and the society as a whole and in nature so in the all the four level what is our experience what is our behavior how do we work with other people in the nature in the family so i had uh, some experience of that the content shall be discussed by professor adabal I'll, i'll have some experience i had been the vice chancellor of the uh, university in rajasthan this was the affiliating university state university similar to the anna university so uh, before uh, uh, being a vice chancellor i had some idea about this uh, usb attending the international conferences i thought it's a good good to uh, to be introduced to the students as i became the vice chancellor i introduced this course to the engineering faculty start with and i i thought it's a great work i am doing but very next moment i realized that uh, to introduce a course uh, by a vice chancellor is not a big di- big deal the person who will take this course who will teach this course the faculty until unless they don't realize this don't understand this and don't practice this it will not be useful so i conducted a, a workshop for the students a workshop for the teachers and before workshop i'll give an example what what is the uh, uh, situation in our uh, among the faculty in the situation because we all are running the same same boat so one faculty member came to me that i wanted to attend a workshop in jaipur in one university i permitted him and uh, asked him you will be uh, paid for whatever allowances for traveling either travel by the train or a bus uh, whatever is admissible you will be given to that next day another faculty of the same department came and he told me i'll also wanted to join the workshop jaipur i was knowing that that university where he was going that is not in jaipur this is slightly 40 km away from jaipur so it will be difficult for them to from jaipur to the university going back and then i asked to my uh, pa inquiry from uh, uh, the account and tell me whether two people can go by a, a hired taxi car so he to men two persons are going they can go by a hired car so i permit him both of them to go by a hired car hiring the car from the university of bikaner and then going to jaipur and come back so i thought it will be very very much helpful to them going by car when i issued this order when the order goes to them the first person came to me and told me sir i will not be i will not be going with that person i never talked to him they both were in same department i never to direct i will not go with this whether it's a car or i will go by bus i will be comfortable with this the after few hours another person also came sir what what you are doing we will not travel together we will be going by bus that will be all right or but but we will not be going together so this is the situation where we are 
when I conducted the workshop, being a vice chancellor, I ordered that all the faculty, I had one engineering college similar to you have. So I ordered that all the faculty members will join the workshop. It was eight day residential workshop in summer. So morning uh, after an August session, we came out and after uh, a few, few minutes even, the people, uh, the, the coordinator rang me up. The uh, majority of people are uh, sitting outside and talking. Only a few are uh, inside. Then I came there. I day, whole day I was sitting uh, in, the, in the workshop. In that late night, one senior most faculty member uh, uh, of the rank of the professor, he rang me up. He told me, sir, I wanted to talk to you regarding the workshop. Okay, I, you talk. Sir, I am no, not going to attend workshop tomorrow onwards. I told what happened. Sir, I am feeling insulted that the professor, uh, I am also a professor, uh, and, and few days back you were also a professor, now you are vice chancellor. And all the faculty members, junior faculty members, they are telling that now in this age, the vice chancellor is telling you to learn values. We all know everything. What, what does we know? We are not knowing. We are not knowing everything. So I feel insulted. I will not attend the workshop. So at least half an hour here, he had been discussing, uh, I will not attend, I will convince him to attend. Then I told you attend for two days. Then if you feel, don't attend. So after two days, he was comfortable. After eight days of workshop, everyone was feeling very happy, very comfortable, and realized that we are working in the one place, and our services are not transferable even, and even we are not talking to each other. This is the state of relationship we had. So after having the workshop, everyone was happy having the good relationship. I need not to uh, uh, ask whether this person is to be associated with committee, who others can be associated with. Anyone can work with, work together. So this is the one of the uh, experience I had uh, with introduction on this workshop. Then, uh, of course, this was a constituent college. So course was introduced to B.Tech, M.Tech, uh, uh, MBA, MCA, hotel management, whatever courses had. This was the uh, mandatory course. When this was introduced to the affiliated colleges, faculty members, they came to the workshop. And the concluding day, they told us, sir, we have understand everything. It's OK. But our principal is not knowing it. So he is creating trouble. So we conducted the workshop principal of three years. Professor Kumar Samba was the resource person. After three days, all the principals were very happy. This is OK. This is really required it. Whether required for the student or not, it's a required for ourselves, for our livings. Then finally they told, sir, we have understood, but our owner is not feeling well. Then we requested all the owners to attend at least online workshop. That was the COVID time. Some of them have attended. And uh, then finally the owner also concluded after going through that, that from one college, they have adopted one school and bring this uh, value education to the school. So that's what's going on. These are a few experiences I wanted to share. Yes, that's all from my side. Thank you.